everybody welcome back to our channel autistic multiple life this channel was created to erase stigma around autism and dissociative identity disorder and other conditions in the dissociative spectrum and other type of neurodiversities and uh, today i want to speak about representation we all know that representation of representation of dissociative identity stuff maybe i would make a video about autism representation one day but today it's about the representation of dissociative identity disorder or like it called uh, what called before multiple personality disorder like we already knew uh, representation is quite bad i mean uh, you know i think most of you know this film split about a serial killer who have dissociative identity disorder and very very often sorry cat came to me i don't know what it, who this cat is yeah uh, very very often in movie you could see these tropes of serial killer who have dissociative identity disorder one of uh, personality kill someone another personality don't have any uh, ideas what's going on uh, and it's a uh, popular thriller really trope uh, at first it's completely lie because more often people with dissociative identity disorder uh, became victim not to criminals and uh, dissociative identity disorder like modern science said developed because child was abused in uh, childhood i don't know much about uh, uh, natural systems uh, and organic systems uh, but uh, as i know most system became system because they was abused in childhood uh, yeah and so of course these people have kind of uh, strong strong vaccine against abuse because they don't want to cause the scam that was caused to them when they was young another problem with representation uh, not just about that it stigmatized people with the dissociative identity condition it also showed that like it's no reason why some kind of alters appeared as they don't show proper relationship inside system uh, proper friendship between the alters they don't uh, show stuff about in the world they don't show that any appearance of any alter have the, their own roles in uh, this person's life this any alters appeared for some reason they don't show all the stuff they just show that it's like out of nowhere some person started to develop like a system uh, and uh, honestly i don't found a book or movie or tv show when you could find a proper representation of dissociative identity disorder but in mass culture actually you could found uh, some examples uh, of uh, that's very close to us like uh, to, as a system for example it's uh, this book that Stephanie Meyer very famous after of Twilight Saga right the host it's about uh, alien that tried to kind of conquer us and the alien is kind of parasites i mean they decided that they made us better but like many times when some race uh, decided that they made some they made world better or some wild uh, lands better like in our society when we speak about colonialism in reality they that just come for us and uh, they uh, live in human body but sometimes uh, most of the time human mind stop to work after that but sometimes human mind just stay and in this uh, book you could find this situation when uh, uh, this uh, um, alien uh, and uh, person melanie they exist in one head so they could read each other's mind they have conflicts so of course they have conflicts because they are from they're from cultures different cultures they don't understand each other perfectly but in the end they found a peaceful solution how they could exist and they even found kind of solution how human race could exist 
and uh, I think that it's a good example because of course uh, ultras are not parasites you also have uh, the same uh, kind of uh, right to exist and be in your body like you uh, even if you're main host and this situation is not proper representation of what ultra is because ultra is just I don't know, we were speaking about people, person with dissociative identity disorder, we, we all alter, so people who live in this cage, all the alters. Yeah, uh, they are not parasites, but this conflict that some alter could have with other alter, this kind of way to find a solution how to live in one, in one body, it's a really good example. And especially if we're speaking about relationship between host and prosecutor in many ways. And second example, I think good example, is uh, Trills in Star Trek. Trills is this kind of race. And again, we're speaking about symbios. Uh, we're speaking about some Trills, some people from this race, from Star Trek. They have symbiotes. And symbiotes have uh, not just their own memory and personality. Symbiotes have personality and memory of a previous host. So one who has died after that symbiosis, uh, uh, doctors put symbiotes in as a true body, and these trills started to have memory of all previous hosts that this symbiote have. Good example in uh, Deep, um, Deep Space Nine is Jadzia Dax. Uh, Dax is the name of symbiote, Jadzia is her name. But for example, he remember everything that Kurzon Dax, the previous uh, host, knew and uh, she even have friends that uh, Kurzon have before and stuff like this uh, so yeah it's sometimes it could be confusing uh, like uh, when the symbiote appeared in the body that wasn't prepared to become a host uh, people who don't understand who the uh, person who don't understand who, who they is in this moment uh, and uh, Sometimes uh, this kind of person, after after symbiotes uh, started to live in the body, have new interests that they, they don't have before. Uh, they have better understanding of uh, kind of uh, nature of human being, or nature of uh, real being, uh, because they have this kind of other person memory, other person way of thinking, other person interest in many ways. So yeah, it's this kind of relation, this kind of, uh, I mean, between yeah, symbiote and trill, and between this kind of uh, trill and previous uh, trill force, in many ways like a system, but uh, difference is you couldn't actually most of the time, even in Star Trek world, you couldn't actually speak with your previous force, yeah, yes, if, uh, but in system, of course, you can speak with them, they're still here, they're still alive, they're still present. And uh, third example, it's uh, I think my favorite example. It's uh, from his dark material. Now it's uh, also a TV show, BBC TV show. Before it was just uh, uh, Philip Pullman books. Uh, and in this world, uh, his, in his his dark material world, people have demon demons. These demons are kind of their souls. And relationship between daemon and person in many ways like relationship between alters uh, because some people uh, like Lira's mom have conflict with their demons and most of the time uh, when person have conflict with their demons they have in all time it made this person kind of mentally unstable and uh, sad and uh, ill and it's not very good uh, but uh, some little argues, uh, some uh, advice that one demon, uh, the demon could give to person, and this deep connection, like you're like tuning apart if you couldn't find your demon, if you couldn't speak with him. It's yeah, it's so many like in system life. The only difference is that in this world you have one person and one demon. Uh, every person have a demon. Uh, but in the system life, most of the time it's more than just one altar. But yeah, when I started to realize that I'm a system, that I could be part. Of, sorry, Kat, that I could be part of the system. I uh, found uh, this. I was reading this book, uh, His Dark Material, and they said it's kind of every person has their inner voice, every person has their demon, even this person couldn't see it. And I've decided this is a metaphor what I what I'm experienced when yeah, I'm communicated with Yuki. He was the first alter with whom I started to communicate in 1908. 
uh, yeah and now uh, I think it would be the uh, fourth example in mass culture it's uh, Doctor Who uh, famous, famous, famous British TV shows that goes for years and years and decades and in uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who regenerated and uh, this doctor, ha new doctor have new bodies, sometimes new doctor have kind of uh, new preferences, but have a previous memory. And it's a big spoiler, if you don't watch uh, the last uh, season of Doctor Who, please don't watch it. But yeah, in the last season, doctor realized that they actually uh, don't know their past. They don't know previous doctors, all previous doctors. They, their memory was partly erased. And this is like our feeling when we realize that uh, Ayman don't remember many years, that Ayman don't know their past properly, or that we don't know who was first in our system. This kind of like, you are lost, this kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know, don't understand what's going on, it's really like, in a, in a system life and uh, but yeah doctor couldn't communicate with uh, <laughs> with uh, previous doctor if only this previous doctor don't meet them <laughs> in the timeline but uh, it's in many ways not like system life but this kind of situation in many ways like situations that happen in real system life and fifth and i think last example if any it's any books about telepaths uh, it's any books about people uh, with uh, unusual ability who could read each other's minds because in your system you don't actually have uh, secrets from other altars but sometimes you could try to prevent them from seeing your thoughts sometimes you could uh, try ever change their memories and it could be possible i don't know how i was able to do it because i couldn't change other people's memories but um, some altars in our system could change other altars memories uh, or uh, many of us could share our memories and many times we communicate by thoughts not by speaking uh, yeah and also we're speaking uh, about some books uh, films uh, tv show about telepaths it's this kind of experience of stigmatization that many systems faced. Yeah, and uh, if we're speaking about inner world, that I'll uh, live in this kind of uh, inner world, this in more ways it's like uh, virtual reality, that partly you partly create this virtual reality, you partly not create this virtual reality. I don't know, it's like in maybe virtual uh, um, nightmare or in matrix in many ways yeah i think in many ways it's like like in matrix when nia started to change matrix when nia uh, realized that he's a chosen one and he have this opportunity to change the matrix but in the same time in many ways matrix still exists but like this exists before this world around you exists but you could change some stuff it's some stuff that uh, strong cultures that spent many times in the inner world or that uh, strong protector could actually create uh, yeah so yeah unfortunately we have to find representation in sci-fi in fantasy because we don't have a real representation of did in uh, mass culture proper representation yet okay thank you so much for your attention don't forget to subscribe to our channel to make it more visible see you next time bye